Right. I think uh, some of guys have attended a yesterday's session. I think what did you understand? Can I ask you? Not a problem. Right. So data stays, IBM data stays, right? So, but before IBM data stays, it was a product from which company? Essential data stays, right? Sharanya, you there? Kiran. Right. And before that, it was a company of VMark. But that was, we don't need to bother about it. Okay, VMark, Addent, Informix, right? Lots of, oh, the product was changed with lots of companies. Because lots of companies have taken over, but they have not fulfilled the, the tool into that market. Exactly the market. But once Essential was taken over, I mean, uh, data stress was taken over by Essential company, that it, it became at least popular in the market. So it's almost competitive to the Informatica, but not up to the Informatica. But later on, IBM acquired this product in 2005, 2006 between. So it became very popular. Now the competitive tool for Informatica. Because we know that right, Informatica is the oldest tool and the first ETL tool and the best ETL tool forever. But IBM Data Studies is now, it's a hitting Informatica. Now you know that, right? How many projects into Informatica, the similar projects are there into the IBM data series as well. So maybe in future more than that, Informatica projects. Because IBM knows how to market the product. IBM knows the, uh, you know, how to market the product and they should be into the, always they would be into the, I mean, they should be into the market of, you know, the master into the market. At the same time, the product, in terms of the marketing, is that's fine. But the product, it, they made uh, like, you know, uh, by ISL, IBM ISL, software labs, right? International software labs. So it's, it's an awesome product it became. They made the product like that. Because parallelism. Parallelism has been implemented. What do you mean by parallelism? Just, you just think of in a general word, general way. Parallel, the records will be processed. You don't need to wait for first record, should populate into the target. I mean, ETL process I'm talking about. It's not been loaded. It's after loading also, you can see that the next record will be pipeline. You know that, right? One by one record will be processed in a different, but parallel processing is another, another way. It's, it's not need, I mean, don't need to wait for first record should be loaded into the target till the second record should come into the a picture and no need to wait till first first record has been loaded because parallelly so first record is their way the own path and second record will be this another way and third record will be another way it's parallelly processing so that's how the product made like that so that we will see all these things before that that history we are talking about essential data stages and data stages right so i showed you yesterday <coughs> one of the bpt sorry let me pull it once again. And let's talk about IBM data stage is a GUI based, right? Clients GUI based means graphical user interface, drag and drop only. You don't need to much, I mean, writing coding knowledge, right? Always it's built in uh, coding will be written when you drag and drop. So you need to drag and drop into the uh, whatever canvas that's a window which you are going to work in the you know uh, on the whatever the designer part right anyhow let me talk about what is data stress data stress is a comprehensive GA based detail tool and I can include here comprehensive client server technology based I mean client server technology GI based detail tool client server means clients which you can see clients will be installed in your system and server components will be installed under the data stage server. Data stage server, which is operating system maybe. So whenever you are trying to work with this data stage, clients you can work here and server will be with the your customer. Your customer will take care of that. You don't see the server components because it will be resides under the, their own operating systems. But in our training, 
we will see that you know even client components and server components everything is going to be installed in our system itself because we are standalone systems we are not going to connect remotely in real time how we are going to connect from client to server citrix right citrix i think you familiar right citrix or virtual machine right even virtual machine or citrix basically we are going to use it okay anyhow that's how so it's a client server i should include here client server technology gui based retail tool right what do you mean by client server technology most of the technologies will depends on the client client means client is nothing but in your system right so whenever you are trying to click on client automatically that request will pass to the server which is there in your operating system or under the underlying your system then server will take your request and whatever requested it will take a request to the server i mean request uh, by the server and server will observe it okay so client was requested this kind of a thing so we should work on this so server will work on exactly and really and after working on that it will revert back to the client saying that your request has been processed just google search just google search this is your client google.co.in which you are you are going to see that sorry this is your client whenever you are just typing i need uh, some information about some information about something just typing here about uh, california universities I need this information which you have typed this is a your request under the client automatically see your request has been just i put an enter automatically i got this you know informations because your request has been processed to the google server which is somewhere in the us this is your client but you have connected to the servers these many informations have uh, you know came into the picture because your request has been passed to the google server which is there in other uh, area remotely right that is how client is which you can able to see that which you can work on it but server will be resides under somewhere okay but in our training part client and server everything is going to be installed but server we don't see because which is underlying the operating systems only you are going to work with the client components right similarly data stress also you are going to see that four client components similar way let me try it and before that i would like to talk about that you know about the you know the history and all data stress what is data stress means data stress is a comprehensive client server technology i mean current client server technology based etl tool which provides end to end we know that because client data stress is a you know which supports data integration it can be integrated with big data i mean hadoop it can be integrated with people soft it can be integrated with the sap systems that's how the product has been made like that it's a you know just you know data integration perspective it's a awesome tool okay right so the some history of the data stage we'll talk about data stage was started in 1997 by a company called vimark just now we spoken about right letter was taken over by adent you don't need to worry about all these things but i would like to request you to please concentrate on essential data stress starting with essential data stress in 2000s 1999 2000s so it was not that data stress was not with this companies uh, for long term okay but essential to ibm right essential data stress essential company was taken over this data stress that time used to create only server jobs there are three types of jobs jobs are available first try to understand server jobs and with ibm data stays there are three types of jobs as i told you what are those sharanya server jobs right exactly jobs. exactly and mainframe mainframe and mainframe these three of the jobs you can create using the data stage tool right but especially 
parallel jobs were not in the picture at that time using essential data stage you can create server jobs and mainframe jobs mainframe jobs but mainframe jobs are to maintain is very very difficult for the customer because cost you have come into the picture cost is come into the picture because mainframe jobs cannot be executed under the data stage tool so that means using the data stage tool server jobs job is nothing but i'm talking about the etl mapping etl flow is nothing but a job in term. the terminology is job what do you mean by job again etl process what is this extraction transformation and loading right extraction once you are extracting from your internal source systems or external source systems we were talking about that uh, data warehousing concepts right Vamshi and Rajiv Vamshi Rajiv hello Vamshi Rajiv yeah yeah so we were yeah. talking about in data warehousing concepts right still I need to give more information on the data warehousing concepts I'll come back to you that part. You don't need to worry, but that won't affect you. Okay, this tool and that one. But you need to understand okay. the concept I gave you, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You look at this one. Extraction. If you you have a source system, either internal or external, either hetero, heterogeneous or homogeneous, right? The data you should load into the target based upon the transformation rule, based on the business rule, right? Am I right? Yeah, your business has uh, demanding your source data is not having the proper format that you have to do it through your transformation. After transformation is done, you are loading the data into data warehouse. Data warehouse or data marks, right? That's the ETL process. This entire flow is going to be called in terms of the data stays jobs. The terminology is called jobs. Similar, sorry. jobs similarly this flow etl flow in terms of the informatica i'm just you know comparing because you need to understand everything etl one etl tool if you learn it the same will be same thing will be there but terminal is going to be changed at the same time some navigations may vary navigations may vary in data is very less navigation everything you are going to use it as i was talking about client components right there are four client components out of this only three client components were still available because fourth client component was there removed from the architecture i'll come back to you on this part right i'm just talking about jobs right so in informatica what you are call mappings mapping mapping in abinitio what you will call again jobs see all these things and talent i was talking about talent right and talent is also jobs terminology right and uh, SSIS SSIS coming to SSIS I just uh, again uh, it is going to be mappings I guess mappings I just forward the terminology because uh, uh, you know I've never worked on uh, SSIS okay <coughs> mappings okay again mappings <coughs> that's fine so see try to understand that ETL flow is nothing but in terms of the based on the ETL tool you are going to give the you will have the naming convention okay so most of the naming convention i've seen the jobs have been issue talent data stages, all these things okay okay let's see. one second
right so this is how you will you will expect uh, this is going to be in a job right or whatever it may be that's fine so again i'm going back to just to understand because everything we are going to be uh, discussing in the pipeline what i'm trying to say that i'm just pulling okay i'm repeating and pulling into the same page so essential data stage right so using the essential data stage only just to ignore the mainframe jobs as i told you using the essential tool itself you can create server jobs and mainframe jobs but the executions are going to be deferred you can design it designing is different right after designing you need to execute the same where you can execute under the data stage tool itself you have to execute there is a run button will be there but server jobs can be executed within the data stage tool after designing the jobs but mainframe jobs are very very difficult why because why because because it needs native server mainframe native servers that's very very difficult for you know uh, so very difficult for you know uh, you know uh, uh, you know data stage too so that's i mean customer i'm talking about so mainframe jobs cannot be executed under the you know data stage tool it needs the native mainframe systems basically under the mainframe systems only it can be executed then the jobs are going to be moved to the mainframe servers whatever you have designed the jobs you have to export into the mainframe systems you have to you know the pack whatever the code you have to move into the mainframe server under the mainframe server it should be again it should be uh, compiled i mean it should be validated the code should be converted into the mainframe code which is a cobol or whatever it may be there it should be executed that's a reason mainframe jobs they have ignored their cost is very very high so rather what the customer always look for the tool why we uh, find out the tool so it should be everything with, uh, done by the tool itself so there is no use of mainframe jobs here that's the reason they have ignored they have not but as we have implemented while implementation stages the three jobs were there so that's the reason we are talking about server parallel jobs but we are going to concentrate on parallel jobs only because server jobs are no more server jobs still is there but not designing phase all the jobs have been all the projects were implemented in before 2005 itself the projects are running with the production that's the reason we required we i mean that's the reason ibm has come up with they have supported both server jobs and parallel jobs but mainly that ibm data stage is for parallel jobs please remember but you could you could see that in the ibm data stage when you log into that there is an option called server jobs as well there is an option called mainframe jobs also there, uh, there is an option called one more jobs is going to be called sequential i'll talk about the sequential what is what do you mean by sequential number of server jobs number of mainframe jobs number of parallel jobs at a time you can call you don't require to each job you don't require to compile and execute at a time you can call by using the sequence sequence is nothing but you are just packing all the jobs you're just packing all the what this guy is always thinking agashian just speak to ragu agashian yeah hello Ah, Rishian, just talk to Raghu. Raghu was pinging me. <coughs> okay, right. Fine. Okay, yeah. That's uh, up to you. That's uh, up to you. Okay, I don't bother about this. Okay. Uh, I was talking about something, right? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, essential data stages and IBM data stages. Yeah, using the essential data stages, you only just concentrate on server jobs. But when compared to IBM, so uh, in 2005. IBM has acquired this product, right? The, the we used to call IBM Data Stages, not the Essential Data Stages, IBM Data Stages. But IBM Data Stages is mainly for parallel jobs, okay? But you will see option of server jobs and mainframe jobs, but we don't touch it. Why they gave uh, option for server jobs? Because server jobs maybe the client customer says suppose client wants to migrate server jobs to parallel jobs, then there should be option right that's the reason ibm has given chance to server jobs as well but we don't do 
is a server job because server jobs are older jobs very slow processing i'll talk about those things server jobs to parallel jobs what is the main difference very slow processing server job server one by one record will be processed parallel jobs now the naming itself will understand you parallelly the records will more records will be processed okay so that's so and talking about uh, again so yes in uh, data stage so like this the product was changed and i am like lost like quiet okay now talking about the architecture yes this is the very very important part for you so i'll talk about the architecture today and i'll finish it as i told you what are the uh, components i was talking about client components right google search i just in type over there right client components so always data stage will have that there is a client components and there is a server components and one more you have to remember every etl will be built with two types of tasks every etl tool okay every two uh, etl tools will be built with uh, two types of tasks what are those not only etl tools boom, lots of reporting tools also built with the two types of tasks etl tool uh, will be built with two types of tasks one is with admin tasks admin tasks another one is the development tasks similarly so all your admin admin tasks can be performed by the administrator client component administrator client component in the industries which is the administrator client component we'll see that so all the development tasks can be performed by the developing or designing right developer basically developer is going to involve right so developer right so now you have understood that every tool will have a two types of tasks admin tasks and development tasks but admin tasks we don't need to bother about it because administrators are going to take care of this one only our parties by seeing the requirements from the customer we will get the technical specification document we have the technical specification document which everything is going to be contained what is your source what is your target what you need to implement in the business role so extraction and loading you don't need to bother about it okay transformation is your key point which you need to implement or which you need to design in real time okay that we will see that so now what you have understood administrative tasks and development tasks right or developer tasks similarly as i told you in yesterday's session how many client components are there in data stages there are four all your four client components will be connected to the servers through network protocol am i right how many server components yesterday we have seen that three server components right <clears throat> please uh, make uh, you know notes on this part basically notes also very very useful uh, sometimes if you are not able to go through the videos so data stage administrator first client component in data stages is administrator and the next client component in data stages designer data stages director and data stages manager and coming to server components data stages uh, server and coming to this part what was what is this data stages come on repository repository very good repository just repository 
Now obviously H is going to be what is this? Engine. Exactly. Okay, right. <clears throat> so always your client components will be connected to the server through network protocols. You need to design over here. IP protocol, internet protocols, otherwise network protocols, whatever it will be. But it should be connected. Right, there is a direction. Client will reach us here. Right, this is how you will see that, okay? So all your administrative tasks coming to data stage, all this will come under client components, all will be comes under server components, okay? So we'll see that uses of each client component. You can able to understand, right? So and also I, could require, I will see that somewhere, you know, all could be interlinked here under the server. Say suppose. <clears throat> Sorry. Right. Coming to client components, yes, data stage administrator, data stage designer, data stage director, and manager. The naming itself, please understand administrator. That means someone administrator will take care of the part. What is going to take care of that part? We'll see that. And coming to designer, yes, something we are going to design. Who is going to design? Director, so okay, after designing, director will come into the picture, understand, okay, so what director will do that? Who is going to be responsible to see this director client component? And coming to finally, manager, yes, manager looks like a, it's a uh, high level client component, but who will take care of uh, this one? Who is the responsibility of taking care of manager client component? We'll say that. And coming to server as usual, without your server, no technology will work, right? So obviously data stage also needs server. It's like a heart for any technology. Here also data stage required data stage server because really executions, maybe you can see in client, it's a front end thing. As I showed you in the Google search. So this is, it's a, just you typed it. But really your request will pass to the where server, server has pa pa processed your request and revert back to you with the information, right? Because your server has responsible to take care of your request. How it is going to take care of the request meaning inside of the processes will be your CPU, your system, your lab, your desktop, your desktop will have, you know, memory, RAM and hard disk under the hard disk, you know, uh, at the same time, your processors, your process dual core or quad core processors, right? Inside. So everything is going to be architecture, right? So similarly, server also going to be having the same thing. Nothing difference. So if your server is having more processors, obviously your processing speed will be RAM also. I'm talking about RAM and processor size is going to be more and more. So obviously your processing will be very, very quick very fast right so obviously the same way so you will have uh, this kind of okay right okay client components right so administrator so coming to data stage while you are installing your data stage tool in your system all the four client components are going to be installed but server will be, you can't see that. It is going to be installed, right? We'll talk about each client component. And coming before that architecture, I would like to talk about the responsibility of the each administrator, first of all. What exactly administrator will do that? Yes, 
first thing is administrator is going to create project project he is going to create the project creation he is the responsibility of the project creation project is nothing but it's an environment it's a space where developer can able to log into that project and he is going to design the jobs data state jobs so that means he needs a space developer needs designer needs a space that can be provided by whom data stage administrator it's nothing but space is nothing but our environment is nothing but called project in data stage technology in similarly in informatica you are going to see that folders are repository folders in informatica the terminology is going to be different folder creation under the folders where your development is going to be start see here the naming convention will be project creation understand project creation so project is nothing but a space one environment so there developer can log into the dark designer can log into that project because how he can log into that because still again administrators should give the permissions to log into the particular project it's a security everyone should come and i mean everyone has come and i mean everyone is coming and logging into that uh, project means there is no security right so once you join to the project administrator understand that okay these resources have joined to our project based on the client information so we should provide the access to the particular developers etl developers so then once the project has been created by the administrator he'll give the permissions to the he'll add the perm users users are nothing but sharanya if you know if you see that vamshi like uh, rajiv all these you know persons are going to be added to the particular projects obviously they can able to log into the projects users list they, they are going to be added so that we will take care of that part okay first project creation is the first part first thing in a data stage that is going to be done by administrator you don't need to bother about it you don't look into this but i'm just trying to cover administrator part also what the main administrator roles and responsibilities okay project creation the next step is what is going to that that project permission is going to be provided to the users right right privilege access privilege or maybe i'll spell or spell mistakes will be there uh, you know please it not privilege access to the developers to the particular project so anyhow you can understand and also here will add the projects he will delete the projects he is having that so that's how all these things comes under set up the properties set up the properties for the of the project or for of the project and once he has set up uh, the properties for the properties means lots of things will be coming security like uh, user privilege access and also for the projects i'm talking about he can delete the projects he can delete the users he can rem i mean delete means he can remove the users he can add the environmental variables environmental variables environment is nothing but global global variables if you have created any project project level some variables will be there and using the variables the jobs are going to be run that is also possible that is also comes under your you know things but anyhow i'll be mentioning externally environmental variables setup you will be able to understand you don't need to worry all these things okay i'm just showing you all these things i'll make this one as a, this Okay, your environmental variables. If you are, uh, you know, not clear, I'll be putting out back. Right. So project creation, privilege access to the the projects, or privilege access to the developers for the projects, for the projects. We can write down as per your understanding. Set up the properties of the projects, or for the projects, environmental variables set up. so is environmental variables comes in the properties of the project itself okay right
this is the roles of administrator coming to designer yes he'll receive the you know permissions uh, of the project by the administrator now the developer or designer is means i mean designer client company the designer client company all the project leads you will receive a, once you are joining into the project once you are assigned to the project so i mean project means this project data stress project so which is by the customer as defined and a customer will in, inform to the administrator please give this uh, permissions to you know raghavendra so raghavendra has joined a new resource and that's how once he uh, join into that administrator will notify him and he'll add him into the users list for the patla projects obviously he'll receive one user id and password for the project right user id and password right so now so once he raghavendra has logged into the designer client component by providing the whatever the credentials username and password into the designer right designer client component data stays as four client components right you will see that okay so in the designer client component he'll double click he'll provide the project i mean username and password and project project also he needs to set up because project has been assigned by the administrator or client right right client only he is going to assign the permissions is going to be provided by the administrator once he will log into the project uh, a developer or designer he will be able to design the jobs design the ds jobs not only designing of the ds jobs he can able to execute execute is nothing but running execute the ds jobs okay execute the ds jobs right this is the main roles of designer designing the data stage jobs and executing the ds jobs so we are speaking okay right so ds administrator data stage designer and data stage director right design the data stage jobs execute the ds jobs can be performed within the designer client component okay so once he has executed your uh, data stage jobs but whether the jobs have succeeded or not or failed or any warnings so how you can monitor the job status the job status can be monitored through data stage director first thing is monitoring ds jobs through your data stage director monitoring the ds jobs through uh, you know monitoring the data stage jobs so using the data stage director monitoring means whether it, what is the status status right so how he is going to monitor through how you can see that uh, all the uh, status of the jobs through log files i should include here itself in the just through log files log structure file structure through log files in the log file everything will be in detail okay once the extraction of the say suppose 10 records were moved supposed to move from source to target and records how the track tent records are moving so everything will be in the log structure if any uh, getting stopped any records are not processed it, you can able to see through log file itself in the director okay this record is not moved why because same there is a null value but you are not properly handled the null value in the transformation rule that's the reason one record got stopped only nine records were populated so that how you can understand everything is going to be it's a kind of a one more heart it's how the data stage server is there for server and client and also designing is fine and everything is fine but director is main key point okay every job is going to be running through designer but status could be you would see through director only fine so that's fine monitoring the ds job status through log files so everything is fine right so once you are monitoring of the data stage director or whatever it may be so can be director and coming to manager 
whatever you are designing the data state jobs that backup front end backup will be there through manager it's just like a front end repository so always you know whatever you are designing over the data state designer to so it's always jobs whatever not only data state jobs any reusable components like a containers you will understand that naming convention in the later on sessions okay container container me which contains a logic in the other job you don't require to use this i mean you don't require to implement or create again because already in previous job you have implemented the logic the logic you want the same logic you are supposed to implement into other job you don't require to implement right the same thing why to waste your time you can use the logic that kind of a uh, terminology is going to be called container container is nothing but a reusable component right all the containers you can save it in your data stage manager other than data stage jobs first you need to understand data stage jobs just like a front end repository again repository means it's a central storage area central storage area repository please write it down the notes notebooks all i cannot write right so just try make a smaller uh, you know important notes right repository repository is nothing but it's a central storage area it's a you know inside of the server or inside of the maybe uh, client component somewhere it's going to be resides so front end repository where all the project stuffs project stuffs means data set jobs any designs or any uh, containers any routines there will be a naming convention routines so any anything project related thing right project will have a lots of things right all the stuffs can be you can see over the it will be saved under the manager so front end repository where all the project stuffs can be saved okay this is a kind of thing you know or oh, this thing we can see right so i think you understood understood the client components i'll talk about the server components tomorrow but before that i would like to close the versions versions of the data stages data stages i started my career with the 7.5 essential data stages essential data stages in 2004 5 between i started my career okay so i just uh, i uh, that one that time i essential data stages with a 7.5 but it was essential was there from 6.0 version onwards but i worked on 7.5.2 so but we don't require more than dot 7.5 you can name it just 7.5.2 why to go for that many dots so 7.5 so but you can i just used to work server jobs right so using the essential data stage you can work on essential i mean server jobs i 7.5 later on ibm uh, uh, acquired this IBM DS, right? <coughs> but they renamed as, you know, IBM Data Stage, same version they've purchased or they um, acquired. Parallel jobs, that version name is called Parallel Jobs only, but they're named as PX. In the same version. 7.5 only, but they are 2005. They are called this product essential to IBM data stages. They named as this front IBM data stages parallel extender. Parallel extender X T E N D E R. You can write down somewhere. Parallel extender <coughs> IBM data stages 7.5 parallel extender. Later on, the versions have been changed immediately. Next version is 8.0 immediately. The next version is 8.1. Next version is 8.5. And the next version is you can say that you can say that 8.7. Right? Next version is 9.1. And next version is 9.3. And next latest version is as per my 
So recently has been announced 9.5.1. Okay, 9.5, but I never worked on 9.5. Okay, even 9.3 also. 9.3, I just uh, had a software because uh, my company is IPM Partners. We have a uh, chance to download it uh, by managerial, uh, I mean, approval, right? So I worked on 9.1, which recently with a Walmart. Okay, right. These are the versions, I could say that 9.3, then 9.5 is recent, just one month back it has been announced, right? Yeah. But ignore it, 9.5, just ignore it. Because major things we could see, these versions only. 7.5 server to 7.5 parallel, 7.5 to 8.0, you can see that. Since server jobs to parallel jobs, there is no change. There is no change, architecture is for client components, but Starting from 8.0 onwards, starting from 8.0 of data stays onwards, you don't see that. And one more thing here, I forgot to say that data stays manager, one more. Uh, here, importing and exporting. Second point is import. Importing or exporting the data stays stuff, project stuff. Stuff. That means what I'm going to say that importing and import and exporting the data stays processors means what do you mean? What do you mean by importing and export? Whatever you have copied the jobs, you wanted to export into other environment like development environment to testing, testing to production, right? In testing also lots of phases are going to be there in real time. There is going to be system integration testing, there would be, you know, UAT, user acceptance, acceptance testing. There would be SAT, right? So, like, uh, so as I told you, you know, system acceptance uh, testing. Lots of testings will be involved because before moving into the production, lots of phases are going to be there. So, but as per you understand, just development, testing, right? Production, just imagine everything. Excuse me. Coming to importing uh, and exporting the data stage project stuff means where you are going to export, where you are going to import. So you have designed something here in the project. You wanted to use it into other projects, you can export from here. Otherwise, you require into the current project other project stuffs because the containers, say suppose, reusable component, right? You don't require to implement into the current project. Then you can import into from other project too, you can import here. That's how import and export option will be there. But starting from 8.0, there is no manager client component. There is no manager client component was removed from the architecture, but all the features of the manager was integrated into designer, starting from 8.0 version onwards. Understand? Starting from 8.0 onwards, you would see all this import and export options, everything you could see in the design itself. That's a major change in the architecture. So you will see only three client components while installing the 8.0 onwards. That means whatever in 8.7, I'm just going to provide you some of the need uh, they're purchasing 9.1, I think from our team, right? By paying something amount, okay? That's, I'm just giving you the information, that's it. So 9.1 they need uh, because they are ready to purchase. So 9.1, when 9.1 also, you will see that three client components. Okay. So version to version, what is the changes we'll discuss tomorrow. Okay. So this is the client uh, technology architecture. Let's move on to the server architecture tomorrow. Please remember data stage server, data stage repository. It's a back-end repository as manager has a front-end repository. It's a back-end repository which under the whatever the projects you are executing that will be saved under the data stage report. This is the main point, not this point. This is the server and which is very important. You have to pull it, right? So because server has to be stored somewhere like database, it will be database will be there inside. Database Oracle, TP2, right? So you are going to install, right? Where you are going to install? One second. Hello, Raghu.
Right, sorry guys. Right, so uh, I was talking about yeah client components, but starting from 8.0, you don't see the manager client component, only you will see the data stage administrator, designer, and director. These are the things only you can see. Let's talk about server components. Yeah, here we are talking about server component, right? Data stage server, just like a backend repository, which is very, very important because the database will be installed under this. So data stage server has been as usual. Real executions, whatever client will send, job has been designed, execution of the job. So execute run button, if you click on the run button over the designer, automatically the request will pass to the server. So server will take care of the execution. So really executions are going to be occurring here. Once the execution, either success or failure, whatever it is happened, again it will revert back to the client saying that your job got failed due to some issues. Please look into the monitor of data stage director. So you have to check it out. So the request will pass to the client saying that your job got aborted. Your job got successful. Your job got successful with warnings. Everything, it's just, it will show up into the design, I mean, uh, designer itself, but you cannot see in the log file in the designer, right? So everything going to be monitored through director. So as you are a developer or data stage developer, you are going to involve with only designer and director only. In your real time director, I mean, director and designer only. Administrators, data stage administrators will be their separate part. So you will have work with 95% of designer and remaining 5% of monitoring the jobs, right? What does, uh, why it got failed, why it got uh, warnings we are getting while executing. So director will be 5% of work. So you are going to work with only designer and director. But in our training, administrator part also, we are going to see that, right? And engine, always engine will invoke the server to be run. It should not be stopped because in server, if starting, if stopping means that's it. You down, the time will start, right? So that's how your server engine will invoke the servers to keep running more. If it is trying to stop it, automatically engine will run it. It will say that don't stop. You just keep running. It will say that inside there. Yeah, there is a communications between every component inside of this structure or architecture. As usual, data stages are the repositories in a primary backend repository. That's how this is the client component. I mean, this is the architecture of data stage tool. Uh, so we are going to discuss about, uh, you know, uh, design and director uh, mostly and the administrator also. I'm just going to cover, right? So let's meet tomorrow. So I'm going to drop an email and uh, we'll talk about more. So is there any questions from anyone? I'll be, uh, you know, uh, sending this recording.